Um, I'm Elaine Worrell. I'm the Director of Pediatric Epilepsy at Mayo Clinic, and um, I see predominantly children with epilepsy in my practice. Um, epilepsy is one of the most common neurological conditions to affect children. Um, overall, about 70% of children with epilepsy are able to get good control with medication. Um, many of those children are ultimately able to outgrow their seizure disorder and um, may not need medications as they get into adulthood. But about 30% of kids have more difficult epilepsy that doesn't respond well to medication. Um, and in those children, they have problematic seizures, but also the seizures are often um, associated with significant um, learning problems, um, even potentially regression in their, in their learning. Um, it can be associated with other mood disorders, sleep problems. So in addition to the seizures, there's a whole host of other problems that, that difficult epilepsy brings. Um, and that's where um, I think we really focus um, much of our, our current treatments is really helping the seizures, but also trying to minimize those other aspects that, that epilepsy can, can cause problems with. Um, I think we're fortunate at Mayo Clinic that we have a, a very good multidisciplinary team. So um, there's a group of epileptologists that really focus on what are the best treatments for the seizures, um, surgery treatments, um, dietary treatments, medication treatments. But we also have very good colleagues, for example, in psychology who are able to um, uh, do testing for <coughs> any learning problems or um, uh, mood problems and, and to um, allow specific therapies for those um, aspects. We have social workers who are very, very supportive in helping the families. Our epilepsy nurses also are, are really sort of integral in, in helping the families get through these conditions. We've got um, uh, pediatric neurosurgeons who are involved in the, the epilepsy surgery part of this, and then um, uh, wonderful dietitians who help us with the ketogenic diet.